back to another vlog. I the dogs are trying to jump in my lap. Get a good look. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Hey everybody. I hope everyone had an amazing week and an amazing weekend. It is now Friday evening. It's around 6 p.m. right now. Um, I have a little bit of plans. I ooh, we got one. Oh, he fell. Um, what was I saying? I have plans. I'm about to go um have a little girls' night with Najia and Morgan. We're just gonna go to dinner and dress up. I don't know. I've been like very bogged down in the week. So I'm excited to like go out and have a little bit of fun, um, eat some good food. So yeah, I hope everyone had an amazing week. I'm actually about to go ahead and do a little bit of makeup. I actually um, curled my ponytail, put some waves in it, and now they're kind of just like fluffed out. This is my bleached Aritzia hoodie, by the way. Um, still wearing it. Yeah, it's really cute, like fluffed out and like kind of beach waved. I think I'm gonna wear a little off the shoulder top so I can have a little clavicle moment. But yeah, about to go do some makeup and get a little glam because I got some new products last week that I really have been itching to use. And I don't really, I don't wear makeup during the week, like to work and stuff. The most I'll do is brows and mascara and a little bit of concealer. So uh, yeah, I don't get into my bronzer or blush or anything like that during the week. So I'm excited to like get into it on the weekend. Tomorrow, the dogs are getting groomed. Sunday, I don't have plans at all. We'll probably do like a really hard reset. Um, what is it? It's April 12th right now. Like April is flying. May is coming up, birthday is coming up. I booked my birthday trip. I'm trying to like update y'all on everything. Book my birthday trip. Um, who? what else? What else has been happening? So much has been happening. I have an exciting campaign coming up. I can't wait to like release that. Everything good has been happening. God has been showing up and showing out literally in every way imaginable. So I'm extremely, extremely blessed. So yeah, I guess let's get into the makeup and start the weekend vlog. All right, so I have a couple outfit options. I have these two like shirts that come like off the shoulder they're pretty much the same shirt um this one the left one is from um oh lord mango and then pink is zara if i do pink i can wear my pink joni i mean i can wear my pink joni either way but i feel like pink and black kind of are harsh i don't know i could do the pink joni with the pink and then i was thinking these jeans or maybe a lighter pair if i do the pink and then i think i'm gonna wear heel boots i'm obsessed with this fragrance combo I was gonna say something else, y'all. Dang, I forget or forgot. I was gonna say something else real good, like real good. I don't know, but right now these are the two options. Um, I'll try them both on like after I finish my makeup, but like low key, if I wear the pink, my makeup's gonna be influenced by it because I wanna do the pink under eye with the pink hood of beauty and stuff if I do the pink because I just wanna be pinked out. Hmm. So if I choose black, I probably will wear a different blush. I don't know, but. I guess let's do the makeup and let the people on live decide. Also, I'm gonna go live. Oh, I was gonna say, I kind of wish I had gotten this bag in cream a little bit. I might go pick up another one, I'm not sure. Cause I feel like the cream one will eat down every single time, but pink, I'm like limited a lot. But if I don't wear this tonight, I'll be back in New York again on Tuesday uh, for another brand event and shooting a campaign there on Tuesday. The dogs are playing in the background. And I was gonna wear my denim jumpsuit with this and I feel like that'll eat down and that'll be really cute if I don't get a chance to wear it tonight. Or I could wear it both nights and not care. But also, y'all, I did my nails, so let me show you that. All right, these are my natural nails, and I'm so excited about it. Like, they're doing very well. Um, I just did a gel manicure, and then on the two in the middle, I did, like, a little tie-dye type of vibe. Or marbling, not tie-dye. I think it's really so cute. I love it. But let's do the makeup now. So I got my new, like, makeup organizer here. And everything's, like, nice and just, like, laid out. But I am going to try something different for, like, my prep i'm gonna use my danessa myricks what is this yummy skin blurring balm powder this is what this one is in the shade universal i'll be talking too fast but also my tony bravo combo i've been using this combo well i used it last week for the first time i didn't notice that it made like a profound difference like i wouldn't run to buy this i would run to buy this though um but i'm gonna like continue to use it because why not but yeah i'm gonna do these two and then do this over the top but i'm gonna ask some people on live like what they think about it and stuff and then i did get some new brushes so i'm excited to use those for like contour i mean not contour um bronzer and blush so let's start i love makeup now oh my gosh hopefully everybody loved that vlog i'm glad i did i had a lot of fun filming it it was so fun it's so like positive and overwhelmingly amazing poppy flavors i like um ginger lime hey justice oh thank you I just have to lay lipstick mask. Is that the one you use? I use both. I use the one in the pot and then I just bought this one in the tube. Hey girl. I don't think I have anything like water based. It feels like like this should be for your like body. It feels like a butter balm. Like I've used this on my skin. That's not on my face. 
Thank you. But it does feel like really nice. I'm trying to get it to dry down a little bit, just in case. I don't have a favorite color to dry my nails. I do like uh, very like neutral nails though. Neutral and short. <coughs> the pigment one feels like nothing. It doesn't really feel like much, but I can feel I can tell something on my face. Maybe because I'm putting my hands on my face though. Hi. No, I've never tried K18, but this is the uh, Elf Halo though. I'm just gonna use a couple swipes of it underneath today. And I hope this mixes well with that Danessa stuff. Um, the Danessa Myers Blur Balm. I got the Universal Shade, so I low-key did use it as a primer. So. I'm about to go with my friends, y'all. Yeah, I love the Yummy Skin Serum. The tint, skin tint, whatever it's called. I like that a lot. Except for right now, I'm using the Hourglass. Because it's just flawless. He's sleeping low-key at my feet. I hope you like the YouTube video. <clears throat> hey, then. I don't use anything for eye bags. I just try to go to sleep. And if they're not gone, then oh well. Like, oh well. Nothing I can really do about it. I used to use the caffeine drops from uh, The Ordinary, but I don't care anymore. The Elf product just gives you a nice, like, gl even glow. It's called Halo Glow, so. I bought some from Huda also. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix all these in together. This is the Essence Keep Me Covered. Y'all, I went to Sephora for more micro school. They ain't have my shade no more. And I guess I'm one of the shades they got rid of. So I'm sick. And the narcissist here, I get caramel. And then I'm gonna use a little cherry blossom. Ooh. This looks like paint to me. I already did a ponytail video for YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna do that, that, and maybe a little bit here. They got radio shade too? I don't know what they're doing. Girl, I know it's like, some of them are. Some, I mean, the only the ones that are $400 are like the quilted cool tubbies. Oh my gosh, the hoodie is so pretty. Girl, I'm thinking I'm aware. Either black or pink. What are you wearing? Morgan, what are you wearing? Actually, that's not dry enough. Oh my gosh, isn't it black? I, I feel like I might wear that black top. I kind of wanted to keep it dark. I feel like that pink won't be nice for the daytime. Morgan was here. I don't know if she's still here. I'm going to set this one immediately since I blended. But this one, I'm going to wait a little bit longer. And I'm going to go move on to mascara. But since I blended this one, I'm about to set it. So I'm gonna set with my one size really quickly, very, very, very little, because I'm gonna go over the top of this with two more powders. Very little of those also. But this one isn't ultra pink, so I can get that pink thing going. Uh, I don't know, I don't really have any brunch recommendation lately. I don't really need this. Um, what's the one thing I want to do? Wandy and Mania was good the one time I went. You run the same zip-up? You're like the third person to see it, I think. Like, it's such a nice pink shade, like it's so pretty. You should get up and do your makeup for no reason, just to have fun with it. I mean, I'll do that. Well, actually, I'll play music, so I'll just do the ring for um, speed it up anyways. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Press Powder. I feel like I just darkened my... Okay, a little bit. Dang, you know what they need to make? A pink press powder. Now I'm about to go over the top of that with the lightest layer of the Sephora Micro Smooth. This one is very light also. This one is in the shade Nude. And then we're, oh, shoot, I meant to blend my bronzer first. You brought me to my concealer. That was my new hack, but I I didn't do it. So maybe, I, I don't know what I'll do, forget it. All right, this is the Say Sun Milk. I'm in the shade Tan Bronze. I hope I'm in the shade Tan Bronze. That's what I bought. Hopefully I'll pick some up. I'll definitely pick some up. I wish I had blended my concealer out before this, I mean after this though. I might go out with another layer of concealer. Not gonna lie, I'm gonna go back to my Milani real quick. This is the Milani Cheek Kiss and Spicy Season. That is really pretty. I just want to mix all of them. All right, sweet berries on the back of my hand. Picking it up with Real Techniques number 400. I love this blush color, it's literally perfect. I didn't use too much today, like I normally do. All right, y'all, makeup is done. Um, I guess I'm gonna just show y'all off here. I'm kind of in a rush now. I don't know how my time just dwindled down like that, but whatever. All right, my light is like really bad. Maybe I'll even go in the kitchen and show y'all, but my top is for Mango, Jeans are Zara, Coach Tabby wristlet in Silver Metallic. Then I'm wearing those DSW boots. I had to put a little cuff in my pant because um, they're a little too long. But let me see if I can get some better lighting. All right, certainly a little bit better on the lighting. I really like this top because it has this like ruching there on the side to like keep the shirt kind of like bunched up in the way. I like it like that. Um, but yeah, it's from Mako. I got it 
during that mango sale, it was like 50 bucks. And then Jeans and Zara, y'all have seen me in these. These are like the gray and cream type of wash. And then DSW boots for $60. And then little silver bag. I feel like I haven't worn her in a little minute, so she can come out with me tonight. And yeah, the ponytail is ponytailing, and this is really cute. So, bye. I'm like right there. Like, I got a good spot. Y'all, I'm so late, but look who's here. Nigeria. <laughs> Saturday morning last night was so fun and like fulfilling like I filled my cup so much like to be around women it just makes me so happy like to just laugh like we were laughing so I was I was cracking up but just to be around women and just I don't know it just fills your cup so it was so fun we have to do that more but uh, Saturday morning right now I'm about to take the dogs to get their hair cut um, I have this light spot on my forehead and I'm not really sure where it came from so yeah I'm about to, who's calling Oh, it's just my brother. I thought it was the apartment people again. Because I left last night. And I have like... Uh, the the apartment thing is just so annoying to me. Because like if my dog barks, why is this such an issue? I don't know. Like it's it's, it's so interesting. Because like they've called me and sent me letters countless amounts of time at this point. It's like I get a call once a week. So I'm like, what's next? Like what are we going to do next? Like what is next? And I'm not even saying that I'm not the problem. I'm not going to deny it altogether because I don't know what my dogs are doing when I'm not here. Um, a lot of y'all told me to get a camera, so I ordered it. But yeah, like, it's just, it's annoying because I almost feel like I'm being singled out and targeted in a way. Because like I said, there's six dogs in the hallway and I don't believe anybody else is getting calls. Anybody else is getting letters. I mean, I don't know for certain, but I just don't think they are. Um, and the neighborhood I live in is very clicky. And they all kind of know each other. And I'm just like the only black person just here in the middle type of vibe. And it's just annoying that I keep getting singled out every single time about some dogs at a place I pay rent at. Um, 
but yeah i i don't know like there's two sides like i understand both sides of the coin like nobody wants to hear a dog but if a dog barks for five to ten minutes and you live in a uh, like a dog friendly apartment then like let it go like you know what i mean like i hear dogs barking all the time but i don't ever say nothing because i don't, really don't care like they're dogs that's what they do they bark but yeah anyways enough about that let's um do some makeup and then get out of here after i mean while the dogs are getting their haircut i think i'm gonna go to like ulta because y'all was telling me that the blushes from juvia's place are ten dollars right now and that's a steal. So we'll go to Ulta and we go to Kava because um, I'll need some lunch. All right, y'all, officially done with the makeup. That live was like really fun. I love going live with y'all because I love y'all and I love talking to y'all and just catching up. Um, but Selena's actually on her way to me right now. She was in the live and I was like, talking about the Ulta sale. She was like, girl, I wanna go. I'm like, girl, go out. She on her way to me right now. We're, we're gonna just spend the day together, take the dogs to the groomer and all that. But let me show you my outfit before she gets here and we have to leave. All right, y'all, this is my Saturday fit. This set is from Zara. I haven't worn it yet. Um, Juno going in that door back there. <laughs> I haven't worn it yet, much to my surprise. I don't know why. Juno, what are you doing? <laughs> you trying to reveal all my secrets? Um, but yeah, it's from Zara. I'll put the code on the screen. I don't know if they still have it, but you can definitely check it out. Undershirt is from Princess Polly. It's the only green shirt I had that just kind of monochromatically fit in with this um, set. What do you want in the closet, Juni? Um, and then I'm wearing this coach bag because I, I just needed to throw a couple things in here. Plus, it's just cute. Like, duh. I'm going to wear it for 400 days for the $400 it costs. Um, pants, like I said, are. And then I'm wearing my Sambas because the black stripe with the black bag. I was going to wear my Asics, but everybody on TikTok Live said Sambas. So, there you have it, folks. Um, let's go. Or let's wait on something and then let's go. Y'all, we're in the car. They're about to go in. I'm just trying to contemplate. Because last time I bought them to the groomer, y'all, it was a disaster. Like, I almost cried. It was a disaster. I had to take him in separately because Java was just turning up so bad. And I might have to do that again. But we're late. We're, like, 10 minutes late already. So, I don't know if I can, like, do all the shuffling with the dogs. But let's see. Y'all, we made it into Ulta. Oh, it's right here. Look. This is everything that's on sale. I heard About Face was black owned. Is that true? Oh, shoot. The brushes are 30% off, y'all. Hmm, what else? There's a lot on there. Maybe some more on the front. I don't know. But I heard Juvia's Place. Oh, right there. Juvia's Place is 40% off. Everybody on live was telling me way more than this. But we'll see. Oh, I want this one. Volume 5. Is that what's that? Oh, I need Volume 2 also. Is that black? Yeah. Oh, they, they it's more like of them over there, though. Okay, yeah. I need to. Oh, isn't this the one you got? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the clear one. <laughs> All right, y'all were telling me about this camo liquid blush, the Gorge Orange, because I'm trying to find an orange that's, like, brighter than, like, what I currently have. That one's pretty coral. I, I think I'm going to go with this one. Um, just so it doesn't match my bronzer too much, you know? So NYX is buy two, get one free. So I'm going to get two and then something free. I like the eyeliners as um, lip liners just because they're, like, retractable. Um, but I'm trying to find which one I normally use but I don't think they have it no more I know they have it in the one that you have to sharpen but I hate sharpening stuff Y'all, the Julius Place section is cleaned out. Like, girl, there's nothing left. I did get a volume five from the front, but that's it. Like, everything's gone, pretty much. Oh, they got some lip glosses here. Where, where are the testers at? Y'all, they're pretty much cleaned out of almost everything. So I'm just about to get another hairspray because I'm gonna still press my hair and put some curls in it next week. So the Kenra Volume 25 is what I typically use. And y'all, it lasts a long time. I haven't had, I haven't needed a new one in a long time, like a couple years. So I'm just gonna get this size. All right, I think I'm gonna get a um, curling iron because y'all know I've been talking about like having a curling iron. I will get the one inch, but I feel like that's not really big enough for like every time I wanna wear big voluminous curls. So I'm gonna go with the 1.5. It's only 60 bucks. Or the freaking um, Dyson or Shark. Because that gives those curls. But $600? Wait, how much is the shark? 
Let's get another. this one for now. Yes, let's look at the shark. Y'all, they I finally well Selena found it, but the vanilla must perfume. I haven't seen this at any Ulta in my area and I finally found it and it's on sale. So I'm gonna get it for sure. I'm gonna get the big one I think. But let me see the little one. It's nice. It smells just like alcohol at first. Yeah, that's why I was getting alcoholic for a minute. I had to wait for it to dry down. Yes. I'm gonna put the oil first and then Yes. Do I need a big one or a little one? Mmm. basmati rice, two scoops of hummus, half chicken, half lamb, the corn topping, pickled onions, pickled cabbage, some tomato and something, I don't know, fiery broccoli, and then we got a heaping load of pita chips because we both wanted two sides and you have to when you come to Cabo. She almost got similar but some stuff different, I don't know. And then I got this um, ginger brew, so good. Definitely spicy though. Chicago, it was literally so good my belly's full uh, we just came to the outlet because the dogs are not done right now <sighs> there's a coach there's an H&M I mean there's a lot but those are the two things that I can think of and I don't want to go into coach because I wanted to find a chain for my Joni bag and then the H&M last time they had some really good prices it's just some good stuff in general in there so I think we're gonna go in there but coach first for sure because I don't know I'm interested to see if they have any chains. Also, maybe they might have some more dog colors. I don't know. Because Java Chew is up. So let's go and see. It's literally only $80. Like, are you kidding? Tell me this isn't the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life. I love when people look at me while I'm recording. Hey, girl. But y'all, this is so stinking cute. $80? Stop it. Y'all, Selena found me this bag. And tell me it's not given Tulum. Like, it really is given Tulum. Oh, by the way, I'm going to Tulum. This is so cute. But also, oh my gosh, I'm dropping everything. They have this in black. And they have it in the printed one. And I don't know which one to get. I almost feel like black. Me too. Me too. Tell me this not so cute though. She has like this. You you say you can't leave that in the store. Skip that other bag. I can't leave this. That's cute. There's no way. There's no way. 
Y'all, not the outlet smacking like this. That is so you. I know. That is so cute. Wait, grab it. Put it on. Put it on. Yo, that is so cute. The outlet is outletting today. Girl, that's cute, Selena. Y'all, they have some good little cute stuff in here. Eliza. Is that what it's called? I don't know. Oh my gosh, the cream. this freaking card holder it'll be like 20 bucks like what and then look they got the freaking bag to match this is 70 percent off this whole thing is on clearance yo selena this is cute that is cute i can see you yes what would i wear with this a denim denim jumpsuit with this would be so cute yes oh darn Y'all, I cannot believe, I just got, we debated for a while. We were looking at a lot of stuff, by the way. Uh, like pink bags, checker bags, a lot of bags. But I just got three things for 250. I got my Tulum bag. Let me show you. Tulum bag, that like barrel bag, and a strap for my Joni. And Selena got a purse and a wallet for how much? 160. 160. Um, we're walking to H&M, I think right now. Cause this station has some good stuff last time or wherever else we see but oh wait i think it's actually that way and then to the right y'all i found this top i already have this this is the ten dollar top that i got in nude so there's cream definitely gonna get that found this skirt that i tried on it's super cute and silky and then um i got a couple pair of linen shorts because this one is actually on a mannequin out there that i want in a different color and i just want to make sure i can fit them before she takes them off and then if i can't fit those i'm just gonna get these um, so let me try these, those, and a skirt on real quick. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, that's beautiful. Y'all, we made it to Target now. We're looking at swimsuits because they're 30% off. Um, I just put this one in the cart because it has these cute little shells on it. But now I'm like, girl, this is cute. Oh, they have some cute ones. Look at her holding it up. <laughs> that's cute. That's really cute. Y'all, look at these. This sparkly one is so cute. I feel like that's a definite yes trying to decide about this one i like the cup but i don't know if i like the color or not and then the seashell one was cute but the bottom kind of looked grainyish. i don't know i feel like that one is screaming tulum though all right y'all i'm back home i was just sitting here playing with my bags because i bought this chain from coach uh well i'll show you everything i got from coach so i ended up with this chain ended up with this bag which by the way i just put my gold chain on girl uh and then i ended up with this bag which also looks really good with the gold chain but i was just sitting here playing with my bags like they're so versatile now that i have all these chains because the silver one on the joni is eating so bad like so bad hold on oh my goodness look at that just transform the bag into a whole new bag and i can wear her as a shoulder bag now like what this chain was 25 dollars at the coach outlet y'all the chains at the coach store were like 200 dollars, girl i just saved me however much math that is oh my goodness these are so beautiful okay look on my tabby wristlet stop girl what okay wait i got another one for you i got another one for you like all i ever needed out of life was a short chain and i didn't even know on my tabby 12 come on get in there okay on my tabby 12 Oh my word, and I can even hold it by the strap and have the, the chain hang down like that. Are you kidding? And I can do it the same same way on the purple one. Girl, what? I'm here to show y'all everything else I got too, which is nothing much. But I got two bags and a chain for $250. Like, girl, that is a steal. I went to Target and got some household stuff. I'm pretty sure nobody cares about that. But y'all, 
I've been looking for this at every Ulta I've stepped foot into since I heard it came out. If you know the Namat perfume oil, vanilla musk, why do they have a perfume? And let me show you the packaging because it's literally beautiful. Okay, wait. It's like wooden, I guess. I don't know. You take the little strap off, open it up, and it's in like a bag, right? And then it has like little straw at the bottom. It's so cute. This is only $45 for this whole thing. And the package is so beautiful. Like, look at that. That is stunning. And it smells just like the oil. It smells just like it. And then, hold on, I should put this back. I'm so excited to wear this perfume. I'm not going anywhere tomorrow, but I think I'm going to go to the grocery store and I'll wear it there. But anyways, from Ulta, I ended up with the Babyliss Pro. Babyliss Pro, however you say it. Nano Titanium Curling Iron in 1.5 inch. I was gonna get the shark one, but I'm like, mm, I don't know. I feel like the shark one is like, it just gives you body, not really curls. And sometimes I just want curls. Plus this will help me like when I'm doing my Barbie ponytails and everything. The only kicker is I don't know how to use a curling iron. I know how to use a fly iron to make curls, but I don't know how to use a curling iron, so I have to learn. But that was only 60 bucks. I ended up getting one of those little touch land hand sanitizers because they were like 20% off. I got the e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blush in high, in Gorge Orange. I feel like this is the orange that I need to brighten and like it actually be an orange. Um, the orange I have from Juvia's Place might be a little bit too brownish orange and blend it with my bronzer a little bit too much. I got some cotton pads to remove makeup. I got some more dermaplaning razors. These ones are really good from um, Kitsch. I think that's how you say it. They're only like $9.99 for 12 I got another Morphe Micro Brow because I don't run out of those. I got a Real Techniques 402. This is the, like the best brush to blend out concealer to me. So, and then I got more Kenra Volume 25 spray for like my curls to hold. Um, I this my own, this is only my second time buying this. It lasts a long time, y'all. So, and it's really good. It's a really good hairspray, really good holding spray. It's not like too firm or like leaving your hair crunchy or anything like that. I really like it. And then. I showed y'all what I got from Coach. I got a shirt from H&M. I didn't end up getting um, the skirts and the shorts and everything. But I got the same shirt that I have in tan and cream. So, yeah. This bag is just screaming vacation. Like, it also comes with a crossbody. It's a brown strap. But the gold is just so cute. And then I have my leftover from Kava. So, yeah. Very successful day. I'm so happy Selena came with me. Like, I've loved, like I love hanging out with other girls like it's just so much fun and it fills your cup so much i usually do everything by myself so i'm very happy to be branching out and like making you know meaningful friendships like that it means the world to me so i'm very happy that she came with me but i think i'm about to go live to do a haul and just chat with the girls because i don't think i'm gonna go live tomorrow so i owe y'all my due diligence and i love chatting with y'all on live like i literally love it y'all are literally my family now so let's do that hey y'all happy sunday or at least sunday for us it's probably Tuesday when you watch this, if you're a real one. But anyways, hi, good morning. It's pretty early still. I actually woke up really early with the dogs. I had a lot of energy. We went on a nice long walk. Um, Jabba was pretty reactive on that walk. So I was a little discouraged how I typically am when it comes to like his reactivity. I'm very satisfied with him in every other way. It's just he's very reactive, as y'all know, so... I go back in, call my mom to like uplift me and we pray for Java. Um, so we'll have to just continue to work with him and pray for him. So yeah, I'm back inside now. Um, I think I'm about to go ahead and do a little reset and I'm walking around my apartment and it's like very clean, but I can go ahead and disinfect, honestly. Um, and I'm going to change my sheets. I don't have any laundry to do. Well, maybe I could scrap together some laundry. I don't know. There's a little bit in my laundry closet, but yeah, um, I guess we'll do a little reset, y'all. I was playing with my curling iron this morning. I know how to curl. I know how to use that thing. I practiced on my hair on this ponytail. I did this one and another one on this side. And the goal for that big, chunky uh, curling iron is to get big, chunky curls. Like, I know I have short hair when I um, have my bob or whatever, or just in general. So, I know I didn't want to get a one-inch barrel because I didn't want it to be tight. Like, I just want a little wave a little body in my hair when I want when I wear it straight like just a little body in it not nothing crazy you know like similar to this right here when I have it straight and just comb it out and just run your fingers through it so it can just have some body but not necessarily like a tight curl like a pin curl like just 
a really tight curl sometimes I just want some body and some motion and some volume in it so I went for like the thicker barrel but I think it's gonna work if it doesn't I can always take it back I'm gonna actually um wash my hair later on today and so press it out and put some curls in it not today I won't put curls in it today but probably on Tuesday um so yeah I really like that flat or curl iron too it was only 60 bucks but um yeah I guess I'm about to do a little reset I'm also gonna film it for TikTok because I don't I haven't uploaded a reset on there in a minute if I ever have to be honest with you I don't know if I ever have so we can go ahead and do that and then um I I'm gonna cook today but I'm like I low-key have some chicken wings in my refrigerator from I think I bought them last week or something like that should have frozen by now but I think it's okay if I eat them um I can cook those and not have to go to the grocery store because I'm leaving town on Tuesday so it's like I could probably grocery shop like Wednesday or Thursday. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to go to the grocery store, but I might. Um, and I'm not going to film any more short form content today because I'm going to New York on Tuesday. So I can film a makeup tutorial, a get ready with me, and a spend a day with me. Which I normally don't do during the week because I'm normally working. So um, I don't think I need to really buck up on filming short form today. Juno in this chair with me. Good morning. Good morning, handsome. Oh my goodness. Look at this handsome, look at this handsome boy. You gonna jump up? Don't jump up, okay? But yeah, y'all. Um, so I guess let's go ahead and get, oh, he did jump up. He did indeed jump up. You're very handsome, huh? You are so handsome. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Only been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. We gone for a year, only your light ones. Life moves fast when you do what you want. I guess I'm doing what I want. Hope you know what you want. done cleaning for a while um i actually took the dogs on a really long walk play fetch with juno and stuff and um try to train java a little bit more but i need to go to the grocery store um i know i have something to cook tonight but i just need i need a couple things for like tomorrow and honestly like tuesday night after i get back from the city so guys stop it 
But anyways, I'm gonna put my shoes on, go to the grocery store so I can get some stuff for my freezer and pantry um, for the week, honestly. I might as well just get stuff for the week. I'm trying to figure out if I wanna go down to Trader Joe's. I got treats in my pocket, y'all, and Java will not keep his nose out of my pocket. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I wanna go down to Trader Joe's or just go to Wegmans and come back home. But here, go take those. Java, look, you missed it. You missed the opportunity. You don't eat all the treats, look. Java, are you okay? Um, but yeah, I'm about to just lace my shoes up and go ahead and hit at least one of these. Y'all, I wish Chick-fil-A was open so bad. I don't know why every Sunday I want Chick-fil-A, but specifically that little cherry lemonade they got is so good to me. Like, it's so good to me. Wait, I need to take these socks off. Mmm, am I? No, nah, I'll leave my honker. Let me just roll them down a little bit. But yeah, that little cherry lemonade that they got is so good to me. I don't know why it's so good, but it's so good. But, yeah, I'm going to keep this sweatshirt on, and then I'm going to be wearing these Asics, so nothing to really see as far as outfit goes. And it's, like, really warm outside. It's, like, 70 degrees. But I do need to get there and get back so I can, like, cook and then wash my hair. cook dinner it's only three o'clock and um i guess i'll just wash my hair before dinner but i'm gonna crack open these pickles because wait how do you open these y'all i'm on a pickle kick right now like i first of all i love pickles i've always loved pickles but sometimes i go through a phase where i just i need a pickle in the house <laughs> i just need a pickle but if you know grillos then you know how good they are but you know how obnoxious they are to open and every time I open a thing of Grillo's, they, they spill. So I'm trying to be real careful, but I know it's going to spill regardless because they literally pack it to the top with brine. Okay. Oh, the garlic. Let me know if you like pickles. I need to know. Like, I really need to know. The garlic. Oh, brother. That looks so good. <laughs> I really just want this little one right here at the top waiting for me, y'all. The crunch, like, I'm sorry if you don't like pickles. You're probably disgusted right now, but I'm having a good time. Mm. These are so good. If you like pickles and you haven't tried Grillo's, please get with it. They are so good. Like, these are the best pickles in the grocery store. I also really like the Clausen's brand. Those are really, really, really good. But Wegmans didn't have any Clausen's. So, I got Grillo's. These are so good. Like, so good. I should make my own pickle. It's, my hair is wrapped up in a neck strip. So, basically, what I'm trying to do is just, like, slide this off. Oh, yeah, baby. But she's bald. Should be good. All right, y'all, I just got the ponytail out. The, the inside of my hair, like the middle is not really dirty because there's no real product in there. And um, I washed my hair and then went straight into this style. So it should be a pretty easy wash, except for this product all on the perimeter. So I gotta get that out obviously. And to do that, I'm gonna be using some clarifying shampoos. So I'm gonna use Paul Mitchell Tea Tree Special. I'm also gonna use Olaplex clarifying shampoo. These are my favorites, and then I really like using the TPH like mint condition, um, conditioner and scalp wash. I like those a lot, so I'm going to do those. Um, that's my like, tried and true combo, honestly, every time I do a little silk press, but yeah, I know I need my ends trimmed, but I can't trim them today, so I can't trim them any day, but yeah, um, let's go ahead and wash. All right, so if you know, you know, these are the same products I always use. 
Um, while the hair is wet, I go with the camera blow dryer spray, camera lux when leaving, and silk off spray from my mom's company, Golden Hands Regina. And then after the hair is dry, I go in with the silken and gloss and the Tymo heat protectant to just gloss the hair and protect it from the heat. And yeah, work in small sections. And I'm actually about to go live and do this, so I'm not going to talk through it, but work in small sections and I use the Babyliss Pro Nano Titanium. <laughs> now so I'm gonna show you how I make my honey garlic wings I feel like this is definitely a frequent meal for me but it's just so good that I think about it all the time and I can't stop having it but anyways um this is the chicken it's clean and seasoned right now but let me show you what I season it with uh, I go in with a little bit of Tony's I always forget that there's salt in this y'all and I put a little bit of salt first I didn't put a lot so I should be good but I always forget that this has salt in it so just be careful with that um, but anyways I use onion garlic Tony's obviously, lemon pepper, um, Miss Dash original because I don't have any more 21 seasoning salute from Trader Joe's. Also why I use this garlic and herb. You, I, I like to use small grain seasonings and larger grain seasoning. I feel like it makes the world of a difference. And then this is like my secret ingredient for real. It's not a secret, but cumin on chicken is so good, okay? And then I haven't added this yet. I'm about to do it right now, a little bit of baking powder. Y'all know I don't measure nothing. My ancestors just tell me when and what to do. So I'm going to sprinkle this on there and then I'm going to drizzle it in oil and place it in my, my air fryer. I typically will air fry mine at 385 for 24 minutes. Now I know different air fryers are different and they cook on different like temperatures and speeds and things like that. So that's what I do with mine. So y'all this is what the chicken looks like halfway done. Um, I like to flip it at 12 minutes and then give it a 12 minutes on the other side and then I'm going to show y'all how I make the sauce for it. So for the sauce uh, in a pan I'm going to put some butter and then I'm going to go in with some minced garlic and then I'm going to go in with some red pepper flakes and let that kind of like toast all together. And then I'm gonna add a splash of soy sauce. And then after that, I'm gonna add these, both of these honeys, this one's so good, oh my goodness. Then I'm gonna add some brown sugar. And then, uh, oh, while that's like going these three together, I'm gonna add this seasoning in to bring back in that garlic flavor. And then I'm gonna bring it up to a simmer, let it bubble, and then bring it back down. And that's when the sauce will start to thicken. And I'll add some parsley also. Sometimes I even like to add a little bit of Parmesan when the wings are done, but I'll walk you through it step by step. In a pan, I uh, melted some butter and then I threw in some minced garlic. And then I added a little bit of um, crushed red pepper flakes. Now nah, those be hot, so not too much, but just a little. But I just wanna get a little bit of color on this garlic and allow those uh, pepper flakes to toast a little bit. 
So now that I have a little bit of color here, I went in with that garlic and herb and a little bit more garlic powder because I love garlic. So now I'm just gonna add a splash of soy sauce. That should be enough. Um, this is just to cut out some of the sweetness, to be honest with you, of the like the honey and stuff. Yeah, that's enough. Now I'm going to go in with my honey, regular honey first, and then I'm gonna go in with my um, spicy honey. I'll tell you when. I mean, honestly, the like the sauce is honey, so go ahead and add enough, okay? That's not enough, but my hand hurts because I'm squeezing it, so hold on, let me take the cap off. So honey is in and brown sugar is also in, so now I'm gonna just mix this together and bring it to a nice simmer and let bubbles basically cover the entire sauce. All right, so this is what you're looking for. Now I'm gonna bring this back down low because it's pretty much done and it should calm itself and then I will add the chicken when all the bubbles kind of like disappear. So now this sauce is completely turned off. I went ahead and added some parsley. So now I'm gonna go ahead and dump my chicken into the sauce. It's all done. It comes out crispy every time. That baking powder makes such a difference. Like it's so crispy. Um, but now I'm gonna dump it in here and just mix it around. All right, I usually just make enough to uh, like cover the wings. Um, if you use a smaller pan, you can probably cover them a little bit easier, but just get to mixing. But this is them. These are so good like nobody understands how good these are i think about these at least once a week but i'm like oh my gosh i had to make them tonight like they are so good all right y'all this is dinner i love a baked potato but like just plain like nothing on it i don't know i love a good potato i love all forms of potatoes but um yeah this is super quick and easy um but like super good so yeah bones apples and teeth all right y'all that food was literally so good like that dinner cannot be top i'm sorry that's that's a lethal combo like it's so good but we're at the end of the night. I'm just going to sit in here and try to edit just for a little bit. It's only 9 o'clock right now. So um, I'll probably give it like 30 to 45 minutes. Just put in some work, honestly, because I don't know how much time I'm going to have to edit tomorrow. I have a lot of meetings. So, yeah, um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching the vlog. I appreciate every single one of you. Um, I've been doing a lot lately, going to a lot of events lately and hitting a lot of just milestones in general. And I know when that happens and when God starts to elevate you, the enemy starts to attack you. And I have been getting a lot of increase in just just haters, like people just talking to talk. And it's so funny because I always just like wonder where that stuff stems from to get online and just like say something negative or just bashful or hateful to like a stranger who you see being positive for an hour. Like how you can sit and watch an hour long vlog and find something negative to say is so beyond me. Um, now when I do find the negative comments, I delete them and I block people, whether that be TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, whatever, but it just baffles me. But I understand that when you start to grow, other things start to grow also. So obviously like, I'm not going to let it profoundly affect me, but I just have noticed such an uptick in people just talking to talk, to be honest with you. But like I said, when the enemy sees you stepping on him, he will always try to get from underneath you and send people to say just little things to get you off your, you know, off your shine, off your ground, whatever the case may be. But uh, I always try to shield myself in prayer and pray against the negativity of people on the Internet because that's such a thing, such a real thing, you know. Um, so I come against that and I bind that up in the name of Jesus. Y'all will not come near me. You can try, but you won't because I have been shielded and I'm protected by God. So, yeah. With that being said, everybody who does genuinely support me, I genuinely love every single one of you. I appreciate every single one of you from the bottom of my heart. The community that we've built has been like, I mean, I say this a lot, but it really has been unreal. Like, unreal, man. I like, I'm in awe of it every week, every day, really. So, thank you so much. Um, By the time I upload this, we might be at 30K. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But even thank you in advance for 30K. The way we've, like soared to tremendous heights has been amazing so yeah i hope y'all enjoyed the vlog i really loved going out with my girlfriends that was like the highlight of the vlog i need to start saying like the highlight of the weekend or whatever i really loved being with them like i was just having such a genuinely like such a good time um i love them so much so definitely want to cultivate more meaningful relationships with women and obviously continue vlogging and just continuing on my path here because I'm doing an amazing job with it. So yeah, I love y'all so much. And until next time, I'll see y'all. Bye.